a, a tease earlier, so I don't know what's coming in the future. Um, really great for your borders. Then this is one of the pages where the dies from the set will cut these images out. Nice harlequin with some, it's like distressed in the background. Here's another one that you can use your dies for. A really nice bright set of yellow there. And then you could, you could literally score that, cut, cut that there, score that, and you've got a double-sided card. Then you go into your beautiful terracotta reds. Here's literally four tops of a card if you want to make something really quick. And what else have we got? And then there's four, another four if you want to make something really quick. And then we have our beautiful green sheets. Uh, the tags are great. And Nikki was saying earlier, they used to put sentiments in them, but now they're left blank for you to stamp what you want, which I think is good. Um, and again, more wonderful toppers. There's borders down here of your chickens. And then we've got another, oh, we're back to the beginning. Marvellous. There we go. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Now, of course, you're also getting your die and your stamp set. First off, then, we've got the home on the farm. Uh, and that is with the barn. And then you've got lots of other elements that are in there. Uh, what else? What can I see in there? We've got, oh, that, is that with a little, um, the, the my, yeah, kittens, rat, mice. There's the milk churn, that's there. And then in the next one, which is the barnyard accents, you've got the gate, which also you can, it, it's got a score line um, when you die cut it. Obviously the dies are at the top, but it's got a score line so that the gate will open. And then you've got those wonderful flowers and the sunflower. And then the next set, we've got the happy meadow, more animals. You've got your chickens and your roosters, um, goats, cows, etc. Very cute indeed. Uh, and we've popped them on the screen for you individually. Stamp sets are all $13.99 individually, or if you go for the dies individually, they're $19.99, but they are all under different item numbers. Now, if you can't stretch the whole thing, what you can do is go for the essentials, which is the paper pad and the home on the farm um, die and stamp set for $46.97 with a £5 saving. And on Flexi, it's two payments of $23.49. 429198. However, the one day special will give you a £30 saving, and it's also on, I think, three flexi buy payments, which makes it very, very affordable. Three payments of £28.31. Item number is 304603. It will come with the inspiration. Um, inspiration sheet and also the bag to go in. Now, this is a happy hour deal. We've got four for you this afternoon. £15 saving. You're getting. 20 reels of your three millimeters and there is five meters on each just 9.99 oh yeah gosh that works out at 50 pence per reel very good then we've got our pearl paper this is 120 gsm you've got five different shades you sort of lovely warm neutral shades 11.99 and there's a 13 pound saving 250 sheets that works out at four pence per sheet 9.50419 and then next, we've got some glitter mirror card. There's all sorts in there. Like, there's four different types of silver. There's £19 off. You're getting 40 sheets for 11 99 That works out at 30 pence per sheet. Very good value. And then we've also got the card blanks. 75 of them. They're assorted sizes in the cream. They're already pre-scored. This works out at just 13 pence each. Such good value. A 40 pound saving on this, but you've only got 20-ish minutes to get it at that price. Right, Nikki, what are you gonna do for us? Something completely different oh. to the last card. Okay. Okay, so this is sort of like what I call a, a bit of everything on this card. I like it, you've and it folds out. all those gorgeous papers. You've got florals in there, you've got the barn in there. So we're going to make something very similar. Okay. So I've already put my paper on, okay, like that. And you will notice that that one is the same as that one. Um, it was just basically I was using oddments of papers that I'd got left anyway. And then I'm going to put lots of florals on there that we've got here got the sunflowers so I just need to finish off the colouring on this one yeah and again I've used the daubers to add my base colour 
and then I'm going in with like an orangey colour, so no pink on this one, and just blend that in to make it a little bit more orange and vibrant. Do you know when you walk through the town here, where we are from the studios, there, there, uh, then there is somewhere that I passed that's got sunflowers. Oh, is it's there? really nice. Oh, are, they, are they in flower now? Because I think it's yeah. around that time, isn't yeah. it? I'll, I'll yeah, I'll have to tell you off air because I don't want to give somebody's house name away. <laughs> oh, oh it's, in somebody, it's the... somebody's house. Yeah. It isn't a field, then. No, oh, no. I thought you meant a field mm. of sunflowers. No. And then we're going to colour the barn. Yeah. Okay. So for this, you can use your daubers. Of course you can. But I'm going to show you how I coloured this one. I'm only going to colour part of it. Uh -huh. So we'll just go that far. So watercolour pen and then so I've just basically gone all the way over the panels on the um, what do you call it? Dutch barn isn't it? So then I'm going around the edge there. Yeah. Coming down those panels with my pen, quite roughly, because obviously this is wood and I want it to look quite rustic anyway. It does anyway. actually, it does. And then blending. Actually, you can get paper pads, can't you, with the wood grain effect? You could just you stamp can. straight on there. There is actually some in the paper pad itself. It's it's larger, isn't it? Uh, I'll try and yes, find it. Yes, it is actually, yes, But very still, true. it would work but because you could go in between the lines. If you zoom in like on the Dutch barn that I did, oh, hang on. I did use the red paper. This is fabulous. Oh, there you go. And I just put the wood grain on there. Oh, that's really good. You did that. That looks really yeah. cool. That is, as I say, it's the, from the paper, but right. I added the wood grain myself. That looks really effective. So, as I say, there's lots of different things and different ways you can use these. Mm -hmm. So, I put that darker colour in, and then I'm just blending all of that. And then I should go in with a darker one. And unfortunately, I don't have my darker pen. I don't no think. It's just, yeah, it's too dark. I think I did this yesterday, and I meant to bring it with me today. And I've it's still out on the craft it. table. Yes. Where do you where do you keep all of your samples from all of the different one day <coughs> specials? All of my favourites. Yeah. I've got about a hundred yeah. out on shelves in my craft. Oh, do craft you? Room. Oh my gosh, I'd love to see a picture of that. I will post it because <gasps> I've just well, Paul's just put some new shelves up for me, so yeah. we've we've got a lot of space. But every bit of space is available. I've even got yeah. in my downstairs toilet cards oh. all on shelves in there. I bet when <laughs> when the neighbours can come round because can't at the moment. It but can't. anyway, I bet they just love yeah. sort of looking at your displays it's and just, everything. It's just, the house is just full of cards, basically. Cards and dogs. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that looks really effective, Nikki. Yeah, so I mean, effective. obviously, I haven't spent a lot of time on this one. But yes, you have got the um, hinges as well. Yeah. And in your die set that goes with the Dutch barn, mm -hmm. you've obviously got the outer edge that will cut the Dutch barn out, but you've also got a die that will cut out that is cool so that's why you get I think did we say and you get 23 dies and 21 yes stamps. so it's slightly different and I don't know whether you can pick this up on camera yeah but oh are we going to be able to see we've got we've got a good director on today so sure there you go can you see look you've got a cutting line oh all the, all the directors are good by the way <laughs> <laughs> and then there's parts of it yeah, that, that are missing, which means it isn't going to cut through. Completely. So you've got the hinge. Yes, you've got the hinge. Nice. It's a brilliant idea. I like Absolutely that. so, so clever. Right. Now that I've upset all the directors. You haven't. You could never upset <laughs> they, anybody, Nikki. I just tend to put my foot in it sometimes. Um, Today well, happens to if be If you it, do, but I do. But oh, everyone's good here. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> Let's cover everyone. Right, so I'm going to bring the card back over. Yep. And I'm going to now the I have to try and work it out. Yeah. Because as I say, normally you see me copy something mm. that I've already made, but I right. wanted to do this one slightly different. So I'm going to lift that up with a little bit of foam tape. Okay. I'm just going to put one piece on 
Just for speed. Yes. Yeah. And then I finish it off when I get, well, not when I get home. I'll have a day off tomorrow, but I'll be back in the craft room probably tomorrow night. Yeah. When are you next so there's in, Nikki? My, Obviously tonight. Um, but, um, the 10th of October. October. Yeah. yeah. It's October today, isn't it? Yes. 1st of October. Wow. Where has the year gone? Yeah, what are you coming back with? What am I coming back with? I have no idea. Oh, there he is. I okay. honestly have <laughs> no idea what we're bringing. It's heartfelt. Okay. It is heartfelt, but we haven't put the shows together yet. Okay. So we're just in the process of putting them together. Mm -hmm. But it will be a golden hour, so I can promise there will probably be some bargains. Oh, okay. I don't even know whether I'm allowed to say that, but I've said it now. <laughs> So now I've decoupaged the cow up. Right. Okay. And then I'm going to go in and put some florals. So I'm going to start off down here. Yep. Again, just building it up, but not wanting to hide too much of the florals that are on the paper pad. Yep. Because I think it'd be such a shame to cover it all up. So again, that's what's really nice when you've got the the stamps that coordinate with the dies because mm -hmm. you're building it up. Yeah. But you're you're using the paper pad as well. Oh, I love that perspective. And then um, oh. just to let you know at home that the happy hour deals, remember we've got four of them. They finish in 15 minutes. Um, if you do want to go for the card blank collection, which has a £40 saving, then that's at the bottom of the screen for £9.99. Uh, very busy for that one. I'm not surprised. Did you just staples. say 40 Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's why you can snap a, that's it up. A, that's a saving and a half. That's a steal of a deal. And just put in some of those grasses in there. And... Beautiful. I love the colours in this. It all, it all works in harmony, doesn't it? Yeah, and I wanted to go just bright. I didn't want to stick to just pick, because normally I'm a bit of a... I can be not naughty, as in when I'm putting the card together. It's just me. I tend to stick to two or three colours, so yeah. pinks, purples. Mm -hmm. um, but I just wanted to go really bright with this one. Yeah, it's lovely. I was going to put a smile on somebody's face. I mean, this could be just sending, uh, you know, hugs to somebody who maybe hasn't seen anybody for a while and it's just going to yeah, light them up a Just a, a cheer, bit. cheer you up card. Yeah. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that you probably haven't seen for a while. So, yeah, just a cheer you up card. Yeah. Father's Day. It could be somebody that just loves nature, maybe works on a farm. Indeed. Maybe lives on a farm, mm. even. Yeah, it's just a nice, fun collection. Yep. I, I used to like going to the... You know when you used to go on school trips to the farm when you were a little kid? Yes. You used yeah, to love that. Yeah, I remember that. that. Yeah. We've got one. There's one in Peterborough, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Is it called Sackerwell Farm? Well, I'm not sure. Other farms are available. It is Sackerwell. Yeah. Oh, I remember that one. I didn't go as a child, but I remember taking the children. Ah. Oh, yes. Who was that? <laughs> Natasha, Natasha. Natasha, we're having a conversation about, <laughs> about farms. <laughs> so now just building. Okay. Taking That's what's nice into. again about these designs. You know, they've got snippability. If you don't want to use the whole thing, don't just snip use the them. Whole thing. Yeah. And again, I don't throw anything away. So if I don't use the leaves in one. Keep it for something I'll else, definitely. It, definitely, yeah. Do you pop them back in your tray? I do. Yeah. <laughs> You must have a snippet they, tray then. Well, actually, what happens is when I finished the shows, everything goes into clear cellophane bags okay. and then they're in drawers, so I know exactly organized. where they are. Mm. Um, I'm not organised. I've been organised. Okay. <laughs> Do you know any organised crafter? I'm sure there are some out there, and I, I can be organised. Well, the only one I know is going to be Phil Martin. Yes. He's organised. Yeah. I think I'm organised. However, the other half does not. And he despairs he, when he opens my craft room door. Is he not a door. crafter? No, he's not. 
yeah no this is what I'm trying to teach so Paul basically but, I know where everything is so probably yes. you could call it organized chaos yes definitely yeah but no I, do, I there's certain things that you do have to keep kind of organized I That's why. I'd never find anything the storage folder yes is perfect uh, so if you want to store all your lovely stamps and dies in this very professional looking storage holder this is at the bottom of the screen and it's going to fit in about seven of your you know your sleeves if you're buying those uh, we're nearly 40 percent of the stock gone 12.99 374 418 there you go as we're talking so. storage how's that coming along right so i've done that yeah i've done that page and i've left nothing for the front one <laughs> just the front but you've got a whole tray full hey there you go we're, we're on the half out shop i've got my shop so we can add a horse let's put a horse there and what else shall we put i've got a couple of chickens did you say what is the dog going to ask i'm going to really silly now what's the difference between a chicken and a rooster then is it one a male or one a female yeah, well is you've that got hen I love we're getting that because oh. obviously <laughs> Natasha has lots of animals. I want to talk to uh, Natasha about how many animals she's got. Uh, <laughs> how many? Six, yeah. 16 Whoa. horses. Um, Amazing. Five chickens. Five chickens. Oh, five ducks. Oh, I won't oh, repeat what Natasha I just said there about the chickens. And that happened, oh, yes. Yeah. Um, two cats. Two cats. Three dogs. Three dogs. Two Great Danes and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> yeah, the Whoa. children are and the children. Yeah. <laughs> Two donkeys. We're still going. That's amazing. No. I love that we've got um, both Natasha and Joe in the show. We're just having a little conflict. <laughs> so, oh right, Joe's just got two budgies. Oh, budgies. <laughs> yeah. Dylan and Stephen. Okay, are uh, Joe's two budgies. There you go. Stephen. <laughs> oh, Stevie. <laughs> uh, apparently, Stephen the budgie is very formal. <laughs> this is. Oh, please, can I repeat this? Right, that's so funny. This is like watch. Okay, there's a daytime program that's on that normally has four women having a chat at around this time. And Lottie's just said, this is like watching that program, but only two of them are mic'd up. That's just genius. And we're not all round the table. <laughs> do you like the way I'm just carrying on yes, building my job. card? Which, yes, but I'm this just... is what they do as well. They just carry on and just have a, have a conflab. This is great. <laughs> but this is the I find it actually um I can I can actually create better when I'm talking and having yeah, fun. Yeah, that's it. That's what it's all about. Yeah. In fact, that would be quite nice. I think a lot of people have been doing because they can't go to craft groups. A lot of people obviously have been doing Facebook lives. Facebook but you could lives. do Zoom meetings. Other could do. Well, I'm actually available. doing some online classes after Christmas and oh. I'll be um, announcing all the details. Um, but yes, it was something because I wanted to start classes in October. Yeah. This was back in July. I thought, OK, October. Right. Not going to happen. No. So look, I've got a cockerel down there. I'm going to pop a chicken here. But but yes, but I'm lucky because yeah. both me and Paul um, craft together, so. <laughs> oh, look at this. Let's look. Yay! Oh, that's perfect. I, I'm no. even quite pleased with it yeah. myself. <laughs> even while we were having a chat. But, yes, because I did kind of just lose track of few minutes. No, it's lovely because you're just got a little having a little play, look. popping things out. That does look like a fabulous sample. There we go. Love that. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. And thank you to Natasha. Thank you to Joe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> right, um, so we have got nearly 70% of the stock has gone, so only 30% left. Uh, it's three payments instead of two if you do want to spread the cost. Um, 
Yes, you've got a £30 saving and of course it will be going back up to its usual price of £114.93 at 6pm this evening. Please don't let that slip through your fingers. 304603 is the item number. Um, do be quick on your happy hour deals. You've got your red liner tape. <coughs> You've got the um, lovely sh pearlescent cards. That, well, no, it's paper. Sorry. You've also got the um, mirror card and your mirror card and your shimmer card and all of that. And last but not least, you've got your card blanks, and they've got a forty pound saving. And they're at the bottom of the screen if you do want them. They're just nine ninety nine. But in five minutes' time, they're going to go up by that forty pounds. Don't let that slip through your fingers either. Thank you very much, Nikki. Thank you. It's been great. It has. I should have had a lovely hour, to it be has. quite frank. Uh, you. you can give us a call to place your order, 01733 60 or you can go to the website at herchanda.com. Uh, so, Nikki, you're going to be back at 4pm. I will, with a few more demos and some chit-chat. <laughs> chit-chat. Um, and oh, we'll you'll be on the farm. You'll be, well, you'll be on the farm with Yanis. Yeah. No hay bales in sight or anything like that. <laughs> right, I will see you tomorrow and uh, I'm going to pass the mantle over to our lovely Natasha who is with Hayley. Um, yeah, see you tomorrow and do make sure you're checking out your baskets. Thank you, lovely. Coming up next, we have got some absolutely beautiful fabrics with Cat Bassett. Uh, next then, after that, we've got Callum Ball with the lovely Joe, and then it's the Pergamano Show. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister and we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to a Chanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on a Chanda. heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join her Chanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning, and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey's taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands, such as 2J Stamps, 
press cut and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passementry. Mark and I work hard designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. We're really pleased to be part of the Hochanda family and I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hochanda. Welcome back. Well, I'm in a happy place for lots of different reasons. I mean, we've got a fabulous Kay Facet show ahead of us. I've got a fabulous Natasha here with me as well. How are you doing? Hello. How are you? I'm very well. All the better for all this gorgeous colour. Well, it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> brighten your day, Hayley. Well, definitely. I mean, these are amazing fabrics. Now, if you've not seen Kay Facet fabric before, then you are in for a treat. But if you've not seen it, where have you been? Because it's one of our favourite brands here at Achanda, and you've got this beautiful array of colour colour as you can see. Now we've got some fabulous opportunities for you to get hold of your um, K facet fabrics in a variety of ways. If you want your larger pieces then we've got obviously your half metre with your pick and mix but we've also got some fat quarters that are coming up in a few moments. I like the way that we've done this Natasha because you don't always want a large project with these because they're quite strong fabrics. They can be diluted down quite easily or the other way around you might just want to add a little hint of something else with them. A little can go a long way. Good point. But yeah. also yeah, big and bold. It can this be the it. main event. So they are incredibly useful. And the one that you've got on your screen at the moment is the Millie Fury, which is such, such a popular one. Um, it is one of Cape's original, uh, very early prints. And this is a little dress that I made for my two-year-old out of it. And it's trimmed in the geodes in Sky down the bottom. Um, and we've got that as a fat quarter. So the dress itself was made out of a half meter of fabric and then the fat quarter just did the trimming. It could have just been the Millie Fury. It didn't need any more to it, but you know, I had it and be rude not to. Um, and this is it. So it can be, it can be the main event mm -hmm. or you can chop it up. You can use it as a ditzy because there's so much going on in there. So it really is a truly versatile one and you've got all those beautiful pastels in there. But then you move on to these. Ooh, look gorgeous, at this. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So these fabrics have been brought to us by the K Facet Collective, which is three people. It's K Facet, obviously himself, um, Brandon Mabley, and also Philip Jacobs. Now, Philip told me off the other day because he said, I'm not a botanical artist. You always call me a botanical artist. Okay. I'm a fabric designer. Okay. But look at how he does botanicals. How can you not be called <laughs> oh, a botanical I, artist I claim when that you one. draw botanicals like this? Absolutely. So gorgeous. I would argue with him on that point. I Beautiful. think he's both. I think, yeah, we will put, put you in both of those groups, I think, <laughs> definitely. Now, this is a gorgeous one as and again, well. Love the Philip deep Jacobs tones. again. So Philip goes to see Kay from Brandon once a year for a couple of hours and brings his designs with him. Um, and Kay will then choose the ones that he wants. And Kay does the colour work. Oh, OK. So it's... Um, it's Philip's artwork and Cave's colour work, and and um, and Philip considers Cave to be the best colourist in the world right now. Now I went to bring this bag out here because I thought I picked up one that was the same, but it's not. You can see it's different, but you can see same how that solid, yeah, that solid band there really sits so well. Again, with another strong print. I mean, you wouldn't necessarily put those both together normally, but when they are together, they look like they should be together. And if you turn it inside out, so this is actually a little, this is a reversible bag okay. that we're actually going to bring to wear for the ODS in October. Uh, and these are the brand new um, 
designs from Cape Gorgeous. Francis. So this will be part of our um, one day special in October. So it's a little bit of a yeah, it's a, a little peek. bit of a Should sneak Should I have not bought peek. that one out? It's absolutely fine too because it gives it. you the idea of uh, using a really big, strong print. And you can use a plane. I happen to love the polka dot in Sage, but you can use a plane. It's entirely up to you. And just having a way that you can, an excuse to use these beautiful fabrics rather than just stroking them because we all do that too. <laughs> well, this one, I have to say, this one's value for money because you've got all the colours in this one. This love is the promenade stripes. Of stripes. Love it. And it's absolutely stunning. And like you say, you do have all the colours in there. And what I love about this is that they're not actually straight lines. Yes, so if you yeah, do wobble very a bit forgiving. Stitching, very forgiving. Yep. Love it. Nice bold strips there as well. So it might be, dare I say, you need that particular green to, to work with something else. Nothing stopping you from actually chopping into this. But when you see it in its entirety, I think that's the way that you're going to be working with this one because it is an absolutely beautiful print. Whether it's portrait or landscape, you're using that. Whichever way, that is going to become a firm favourite. It's one of your pick and mixes. And then finally, this is one that I've worked with. I actually had this in, um, I think it was on the, the, the plastic boxes that were done with all the strips in there. Um, Oh, I can't think what they were called, but yeah. Oh, the scrap bags. The scrap, yeah, 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 like little scrap um, boxes, yeah. I had one a little while ago, and I had some of this in there. I love it. Um, and again, you've got kind of solid colours in here, but those blooms, again, beautiful. Just stunning. Uh, for me, I'm not normally a green kind of person, but this did persuade me. Gorgeous. And I do love those greens in there, and the blues. And the, it's a really warm... Normally, I think of green as being a cool colour, but yeah. the way that it's been mixed with the mauves and the pinks yeah. brings a warmth to it Doesn't and an it? earthiness to it as well, which I think is just stunning. Beautiful. So those are your choices. Now, you're going to choose any two of those to give you a full metre. Um, so with these, you've got your half metres. Oh, have I got that the right way around? It is two half metres, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Suddenly I doubted myself for a moment then. £14.98 being your price. We're on extended delivery with regards to these. So just look in a couple of weeks, but it's definitely worth the wait. And of course, you might have little gaps that you need filling with these it's it's funny isn't it how things get put out the Millie Fury next mm -hmm. to that one when I see it in the screen I would never have put those two together but mm -hmm. actually Look, look at good. some of those yeah. purples and those blues Well, the together. thing is, this is that when you start looking into it, and you kind of dissect the design, when you get in there, this is the reason why, they, at first sight, they don't look as if they should go together, but they do, because when you look at the inner detail, so here you've got those gorgeous purples and lilacs, where well, you've got very similar purples and lilacs within yeah. these when they come across. So they're naturally going to come together. There are connective points. The blues there, again, you've got the gorgeous blues there, the blues with those larger flowers there, the green, you can see. So they are naturally going to have those connectives between them. But equally so, they're both strong enough to have their own personalities within that project and as well. And then the luscious next to mm. the promenade stripe. Gorgeous. Beautiful. And you've now, Ooh. just to give you a quick update on a few of these, the stripes, you are liking the stripes, half the stock has gone of that particular one, um, so that could be one of your pick and mixes. It could be both of your pick and mixes, to be honest, because you can go for two repeats of the same piece if you're wanting to. Now, with these, I don't know whether you're going to get them as a complete piece. No. Let's just class it as a bonus if you do. No, so, uh, be prepared not. for two pieces. We think they are already pre-cut, so it stands a chance that's the way that they're going to come to you. Um, but so that might be one of your choices as well. So, those are your half metres. Details on your screen there, 874 five zero zero mention that we have got some fat quarters for you as well and these are lovely and fat quarters i mean they're, they're quite a good size piece of fabric for um kind of a project in their own right yeah. but as you saw with that little fabulous pillowcase dress they add in accents you don't have to use the whole piece in its entirety no, no just just a little bit here and there that could have been just a little strip that was left over um and it just it just adds a little a little something Absolutely and it gorgeous. is the geodes is one of my favorites it is and i love this because you've got that kind of well you can see it down at the front there how bold is that but have a little look cast your eye just a little bit further up out is that in fact i'm going to roll that one down just tuck it out of the way just for a few moments this is where color can change the outlook of a project so much i mean have a look at the similarities that you've got between those two but they're also poles apart but the connective completely. is the design on this occasion completely and just imagine the the top geodes with black um for a masculine product mm -hmm. i would imagine that for a tablet cover yeah. or something like that or some sort of man bag or something Beautiful. you know would be would be phenomenal and then you've got the ombre leaves and actually i thought you were going to roll the 
the ombre well, leaves do, down to go naturally, naturally I'd never yeah. thought of putting it with that but now I see it yeah yeah and it's really beautiful that gorgeous color tone going right the way through that any one of these in fact should we do them in proper order but I mean I've gone I straight decide, in there <laughs> I decided the geodes down the bottom you've got two yeah. more of the promenade stripes yeah. in completely different colorways and Amazing. how completely different do they look but they're both gonna go with the geodes genius love it so have a look at this one here this one's a beautiful one I love this one this is the one that's proven to be the most popular this particular one what are we calling this one periwinkle oh yes i can understand why it's that gorgeous color that you've got featuring there can i just say as well just to put, going back again there you go perhaps those two together what do you think i think those would work together if you've gone for the half meters um again oh i love these spots and circles i mean this Perfect. is the thing you know stop spots and stripes circles and squares yeah. you never meant to put them together but um, this is called tiddlywinks oh i love it he does a slightly larger version called paint pots but this is tiddlywinks lovely so we have got a couple of different versions of the tiddlywinks as well let's very quickly bring this one across so if you are wanting to keep that continuity of design but different colorways do have a little look on your, your pick and mix we'll cover that one in a few uh, moments that with the promenade stripe. i know that's why i'm putting it, it back gorgeous isn't it i'm putting it back over there because it does look like they were made to go together doesn't it but we're not looking at these we're gonna go back over here and have a look at more of these now i love the earthiness almost a spiritual look to this one yes yeah, so philip jacob spends half of his time down in Dorset and on his walks down through the farm to collect his eggs he often finds feathers oh. and that has been a big inspiration for some of his fabric Beautiful. designs and this is utterly stunning um, and has a completely different feel there's a version where Kate put bright pinks in it <laughs> Fabulous. and it looks equally stunning so gorgeous uh, and there's i made a i made a makeup bag out of it the pocketed pouch which is up on the up on the wall over there oh, and look at that and it just oh it's it's gorgeous to work with those colors and that's stunning. nice because you mixed it with a totally different style of fabric with this one yeah i did i did it with a um, a quilted pu and it just yeah the colors just worked really beautifully but then actually you just folded down the promenade stripe and the gray in the promenade stripe that you've got there mm, the just perfect, in front of yeah, you yeah is really beautiful That's and it. would work equally well actually See, you, you know you could really play with it and actually looking at it because there's there's also priscilla the emu that was a quilt that i've started <laughs> fabulous priscilla <laughs> but actually those feathers would have been amazing yeah. to actually have done priscilla's head with yes that's a good point actually you very, know very so that's got i mean we had the luscious as your part of your pick and mix in a different colorway but that's your luscious and that's actually a cave zigzag um designed by brandon mabley so uh, you know but there's no reason why that couldn't have been done with the feathers mm -hmm, beautiful and also with this one i might be a bit boring in what i'm going to say but i think this will resonate with a lot of people i love this idea of perhaps just quilting that and excuse me tickling my throat just free motioning along those lines to put beautiful. separators in there beautiful beautiful and actually some of cave's quilts um, do deal with using a lot of these striped fabrics uh, and they end up looking you know as sashing yes. which ends up looking mm. like you've done a lot more than you actually have I love it and there you go so you've got your stripes there we've got more stripes to share with promenade again featuring across there let's go down the middle and have a quick little look as well um, so you've got absolutely amazing as you can see they're bright tones with this one we've already touched on those three there um, and then of course our final column that we've got even more power of color working with these so uh, yeah we'll look at these in closer detail perhaps as the hour progresses and then Natasha's got some demonstrations for us the dots again look at that love it and of course that gorgeous promenade yeah those two together definitely do need to go together <laughs> you choose any five of these my goodness that's generous bundle yeah I it's still is going to be tough to choose isn't it yes, it's going to be really tough to choose but my goodness what a collection to choose from and the i mean the one that you've got your hands mm. on there i made emily when we did this as an ods the other day um i made emily a bib out of that because uh, it's just absolutely stunning and that's one of cave's designs Beautiful. and actually i suddenly realized that that's one of the ones that we have in the cushions behind but again in a different colorway and how well, different it, does yeah. it look loads of different ways you can work with these so there you go you're going to choose any five of those of course if you can't limit yourself to five you can go back in and get an additional five um which is not a bad idea because they're a brilliant value for a minute and i'm sure you will revisit those now patterns wise we've got some amazing patterns for you um and natasha you've always been a fabulous um 
it's kind of serving suggestion, obviously, with the fabrics that we've used. But any of the fabrics that we feature here will lend themselves well to these. Yeah, and in fact, a, a lot of them you'll see on the set that I have made in Cave Fabrics. Um, I've done these time and time again um, on the shows. And Cave Fabrics, I mean, that was the bib that I made with the fabric that we've just looked at, um, which was absolutely gorgeous. And Emily picks it out of the drawer herself. Um, I've got that fabric star we did the other we day. We did do that the other day. Yeah, Very in fact, I did that on a show with you, and it's squashed did. in the bottom of Miss Island. <gasps> Oh, the pocketed zip pouch as well. All of these featuring within here, absolutely amazing. And there you go. Have a look at that. That is that Arthur Star, which is an amazing three-dimensional way for you to use those fabrics. We'll spot it's some of those. We've just looked at them. Been a bit squashed in the bottom it of the is bag. A bit Sorry. <laughs> Never mind. Needs a bit of TLC. It does. And then so then we've got, I mean, I don't know how far I can move across if I can show on the, on well, the back wall there. Well, shall I bring a couple of these in yeah. to start with? Because these ones will show, you'll recognise some of these fabrics because the promenade that you've got, we've just looked at, of course, self-striping fabric is already there. Of course, you've got some of your fabulous little um, dots with these ones as well. This one is your scissor keeper. You've also got your fabulous little hexagonal um, needle case with this, or your needle um, keeper. And again, instantly, the fabric is ready for the project, isn't it? Of course it, it is. That. Of course it is. Beautiful, yeah. love it, and through it. But I've actually got a new addition as well. Now, we, this is something that Natasha is going to be sharing with us during her demonstrations. Um, so this is your nesting caddy. Now, tell me about this one, because this is a, a new addition. Yeah, so I thought as a gift, because we're starting to edge towards that, uh, that time of year, why not create something that we all need, which is storage, but also why not do it in a way at which they will nest one inside the other. So this is just one. Um, you'll have the measurements for three. But you'll, I'll, I'll let you know how to, to create your own sizes. But it's, it's reversible as well, so you can turn it inside out, although I'm that. not sure that look I can that. quite finish it off the bottom. We won't there. look just in case. <laughs> but what we will <laughs> look at is a seam that needs finishing from turning through Another brand new <laughs> pattern as well. And I'm sure you all have noticed um, Natasha's scarf. Well, this is another of those patterns that is available. It's the Infinity Scarf. And again, those bold prints, absolutely beautiful. I love them against the black. I mean, the black of the mannequin that we've got here, and again, your top as well, really do showcase those fabrics. Three fat quarters, that's all that really? uses. Really? Wow. Yeah. And I, um, in fact, we did a show with this with Brandon himself, and he came to my studio, and we had a lovely day together. It was, it was actually during lockdown, and um, so it all had to be done distanced. But he helped me choose the fabrics, and we we talked through, it. and it went out on air here at Hochanda, and we talked through about how to choose, uh, go for completely contrasting. You know, yes, pick an element where there's a similar colour, but go for completely contrasting because if you've got three different contrasting, then as you've got that twist in your turn, you've it's got that look. interest in there. I love it. I love the little pom-pom braid featuring in there as well. Very pretty. Um, 9 99 that's all they're going to pay for any two of those patterns. And there's loads of choice. Um, so, of course, you can jump onto the website and have a little look at those. It's very easy for you to go and choose those. So you can choose any two that you like. Might be the book cushion, might be a folded patch. Might have a closer look at some of those. The little book cushion is a brilliant idea. You've got a little pocket in there for snacks and books. I think that's what it's meant to be for, but yeah, and more snacks. <laughs> um, and then you've got your pyramid patch, perfect for uh, if you're going to use your kind of like your little um, tablet there as a tablet rest, just to keep looked at earlier on. Snowball cushion, that's a brilliant one to use, especially when you are using those feature fabrics. And of course, three dimensionally wise, we've got the Dahlia flower fabric um, as well. Sorry, Dahlia fabric flower, should I say. Um, and there you go, you can see nesting tidy at the bottom there, ready for a brand new line of patterns to come through. Need to fill in those gaps, Natasha. I have to get busy with those patterns. <laughs> Next week, it'll be full. <laughs> maybe. I love it. Um, maybe. Pick maybe. a mix, choose any two of those, add them to your basket, but make sure you are checking your baskets out in a timely fashion to ensure that you get those patterns. So, what are we going to be looking at, Natasha? Oh, we're going to make another of the, the new nesting tidies. So Lovely. It's, um, the hardest thing with Cape is deciding which two <laughs> fabrics to go with. As we've just seen, mm. even as you've gone down the counter, it's like, oh, hang on a minute. Somebody else had put that next to that. I said, oh, so I'm now, you know when you order a dinner and then your other half orders something and you kind of have dinner envy? I'm <laughs> well, you wondering if I've chosen table. the right ones <laughs> yes. now. But you can kind of rest assured that any colours are going to work. Yeah, I kind Beautiful. of love that luscious and the promenade to go, oh. Anyway, <laughs> I went with periwinkle and the promenade stripe. Okay. Okay. Now, of course, so both could be, um, well, both have come from the fat quarters. So yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. So this is uh, suitable as a fat quarter make. Lovely. And um, so you need a back and a front of each. 
and if you want it to be able to stand up nicely then what you're going to need as well is some wadding um, I rummaged around and found the offcuts <laughs> Nothing gets wasted. I don't well, know what you're like. This is the beauty of wadding. I mean, you can piece it together with that little joining stitch, and it, it, it just you don't throw any of it away. They even do tape now oh, do they? to join oh, to wow. join pieces together, so that nothing needs be wasted. So I think for anyone that has like a favourite type, um, then you're you're laughing, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Because you can just you can just join it all together, and then like I say, nothing nothing gets wasted so I'm just cutting this to the same the same size lovely now um, if you are choosing your fat quarters you may well have noticed if you are going for the a periwinkle technically it has sold out you might be fortunate it might be in your basket the reason I mention it is if you check your basket out now you will get that because it is technically sold out and if you are thinking right I'm going to get this and I've got it in my basket I'm going to check my basket out after Natasha's demonstration personally I wouldn't do so because of course after 10 minutes it's going to fall back into st our stock and I think it could be snapped up now the promenade that um, Natasha is working with down the front we do still Still have that one available but of course there's lots of other options that you could be working see again I like I love that leaf with that stripe that you've got in there as well and of course you've got the, the purples that are featuring in there and again alongside it those two together any two that you choose to be <laughs> honest are going to work you can be here all day yeah, yeah I know exactly and, <laughs> and that's the beauty of it is mixing and matching stuff through um, just I'm going to spray baste this on um, the the wadding on I tend to do it onto just a Teflon sheet because I know that it will then, my non-stick Teflon sheet because I know that it will just wipe off no problem at all. Having learnt the hard way and tried to spray base on, on my landing and then having to wash the entire carpet. Oh yes. Because, yeah. yeah. That was a really bad rookie error when I was just learning. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> it's a really bad idea. Uh, <laughs> But we all make them, right? We well, all... Of course, that's where we learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we're just going to prep these. And it does feature a boxed bottom. Okay. And um, I do love a good old boxed bottom. Well, it's so nice and easy. And these, I mean, these projects that you're doing here, these are perfect as Christmas gifts, like you were saying earlier on. Uh, they're perfect as Christmas gifts. They're perfect for using up the last of your scrap as well because they don't I mean they each side could be different they don't yeah. have to be Good all point. the same so if you've got four different pieces and you know like how how many of those go together in terms of oh, you could easily yes. pick four that yeah, and it doesn't have to be this size you know you've mm -hmm. got three different sizes to choose from um, but also I don't know about you we have teenagers in our family who want cold hard cash mm -hmm. at Christmas and birthdays but actually, I want to give it in something. Yeah. Or maybe you want to give some um, makeup or something like that. These are perfect for keeping your makeup brushes in or uh, your cotton wool buds or mm -hmm. anything like that. Um, or even just pens and... The nice and thing as well is that, I mean, you've used them obviously from the, the, the fat quarters that we've been speaking of. But if you've got, say, I don't know, um, an eighth of a fat quarter left, you could quite easily piece fabrics pieces together to yeah. cover that pattern piece. Because, of course, Natasha's going to give you all the dimensions. And did you say there were three different sizes within yeah. these when you're making them? So there you go. Even the smallest amount of those fabrics, you don't throw any of your fabrics away because you can piece them together. And then, obviously, those pieces, cut them into the rectangles that Natasha tells you to. And then you are able to create those bags. So you're almost making something for nothing then, aren't you? Kind of. But yeah. it's just scraps. Which we like. Oh, Let's yeah. be honest, we like. Um, so, let's just mark up these these bottoms, shall we? I'm going to use a bit okay. of so that you can see it more easily. So on this one, let's get, I mean, look, the, use my patterns as a guide. And if you decide that there's another way that you want to do it or you want the box bottoms more boxed mm -hmm. so that they're roomier, then just make these squares bigger. So it's kind of a bigger base. A bigger base yeah. okay. um, is going to give it a, a roomier feel, but then also just bear in mind that it will... Takes it from the height. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and you'll just, you'll have... You'll have a roomier base, but then it's going to go out at the top as I it goes I love up. the way that you were mimicking that, Natasha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, I mean, if someone's just tuning in now, they're going to wonder, yeah, they're gonna wonder what, what they've, they've tuned into. Um, I'd like to apologise, but 
<laughs> you know, we're not going to. Because we're having a lovely time. Um, now, we look at the periwinkle um, option from your fat quarters. It's one of the different options that we've got. Periwinkle snappy has now gone. Um, but, so, yeah, you've got your five different options. Well, not five different options. Loads of different options. Lots and lots to choose from. So just Am I okay to carry on with this? Yes, yeah, you're, you're fine, sure? yeah. Right, right sides together. We are going to go down um, both sides. And we're going to go most of the way across there, but we're going to leave a turning through. Get, remind me, Haley, to leave a turning okay, through. Okay, oh, no, I'm the worst person to ask you to remind me remind <laughs> for anything. I'm There's a groan from our producer. Why are you asking Haley to remember yeah, to do ask, anything? Yeah, I can't hardly remember my own name <laughs> at times. <laughs> you can use a quarter of an inch seam allowance or not. It's up to you. This is the thing, isn't it? So with quilting, we get really het up of, oh, well, what seam allowance, what seam allowance, what seam allowance? I don't care what seam allowance you use on this, as long there is one proviso that you use the same. So throughout the whole project? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, okay. that's it. So if you like, if you come from dressmaking and quarter of an inch feels a bit too skinny for you, use a bigger one, doesn't matter. But just use the same, as he says, throughout the whole project. Just gonna go back a little bit there. And then come across to here, dink, 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 dink. And do a little holding stitch. So this is because we're going to, um, we will turn this through. So we're gonna drop this, It's can't you drop it into the bucket if you like. Okay, um, we end up with the, an in and an out, I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All will become clear. Well, hopefully. If okay. I do my job right, all will become clear. <laughs> if not, then you'll still be befuddled by the end of the show. Um, but hopefully. Now, I know that we have got the machine that you're working with on the show as well. Um, oh, so can I stroke I know it? So you're very uh, fond of this machine, I know. <laughs> this was the dream. And I did a demonstration at Stitches at the NEC. And oh, I'm trying to remember what I think it was a Creative Bridge demonstration. And this was the machine they gave me to use. Oh, I'd never used it before. But straight in, in front of all those people, in the middle of the NEC, it was so intuitive. It was, it was an absolute joy to work with. And I didn't have a moment where I was like, ooh, what am I going to do? It just, and it became the machine that I, I lusted over and <laughs> desperately wanted. And now it is mine. I love it. Now, details are on your screen, so if you do it's fancy getting hold of it. It's a story. It is, it's lovely, but not hazy around the edges. <laughs> um, we nearly dipped the lights in and brought out the candles. Um, now, the details are on your screen. If you're wanting your, um, like one of these machines, you can see the details on there. Um, of course, the beauty is when you're shopping with us, you can spread the cost of your purchases. So uh, that's something that you don't necessarily find anywhere else. So do consider that. You've got your three flexi buys on this one. It is a considered purchase of anybody's money, but you will have been doing your research, I am sure. And you will see we've got a fabulous fabulously keen price there including that wonderful set of feet that you'd normally be paying 200 pounds for so if you fancy getting hold of this one details are on your screen at 494335 of course you can keep a note of that item number because you can place your orders for that at any time if you want to join us the details are there there was a beautiful feeling when i finally got the machine of knowing that i was never going to have to buy another machine again yeah it's a good it's a nice feeling isn't it when you kind yeah. of have that kind of yeah that that that, that bond with his own machine. <laughs> of knowing that you had, uh, that I had achieved my dream machine, um, and as long as I don't, you know, I don't have any intentions of going into any kind of elaborate embroidery or anything, machine embroidery. I mean, never say never, but that's about the only thing this one won't do. Mm -hmm. Everything else it will cover me for my quilting, my dressmaking, it's got it covered. You know how I said I wasn't going to play. Chicken, bobbin chicken today. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you lose? A lot. Well, no, I didn't lose because um, I didn't actually start sewing it there. Oh, I see. Fair <laughs> enough then. <laughs> That's when you lose bobbin chicken. <laughs> 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 now, this one Natasha doing it. Shall I very quickly do the half metre fab? It's just while we're um, watching Natasha wind the bobbin up, as you say. So, 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 just can't say it without doing the actions. So you've got your half metre choices with regards to the details that are on your screen. These are beautiful. Um, we've got different scenarios with regards to these. Really good sized pieces. Now, shall I open one up just to show you the size of the piece that you're getting with these? Because we haven't done that, have we? Half metre, you can see, good width with these. Absolutely beautiful. And whether you are using these, stitching them in their 
own entirety or using that. I mean, you could actually fussy cut these, perhaps your scraps that you've got left over, fussy cutting and use them as a feature point on projects. But I think they look too beautiful to chop into in that environment. I'll be wanting to use this. And of course, you can use it in loads of different scenarios, um, whether you're creating, you're quilting. I mean, I'd be tempted to use this as kind of patches within clothes as, um, clothes as well. This particular one, incidentally, if you like the look of that one, 70% of the stock has gone. Not surprised. It is a beautiful choice. So well, well done to everybody that's gone for that one. Next one, you can see that lovely promenade. Now, we've got a variety of different uh, kind of colour options with regards to this one. Within the pick and mix, this particular option that we're looking at here. But of course, you have got um, the opportunity to get fat quarters that would work alongside these as well. Again, it just looks amazing, doesn't it? <laughs> I love it, absolutely love it, and it's a lovely one. If you have, I mean, we touched on sewing machines. If you have got an embroidery machine and you wanting to actually embroider or use a decorative stitch down these stripes, then you could do that quite easy. Nice and easy to work with. Do like that one. So that one is your promenade, if you fancy that too. Cool. Got a lovely piece here that Natasha actually started doing a Dresden plate with, using that, and I think that's where it does show off those wonderful stripes to their full potential. I mean, have a look at that. Isn't that effective? Oh, yeah, so that's the start of a Dresden plate, uh, my take on a Dresden plate. And um, just it was actually just using some creative grids the other day. And uh, yeah, just, just having a play. And, okay. and then I, I'm going to bring this, I'm going to bring this to wear. I will bring that ruler to wear as well um, because there's, you can do pinwheels and all sorts with it. But, oh, yes. you know, quilt with it. So these fabrics all came about because Kaif, when he started to quilt, couldn't find the fabrics that he wanted. So Kaif and his good old can-do attitude decided to just design his own. You know, if you can't find it, make exactly. your own, right? Yeah, that's good. Uh, so he did. And a lot of you will know Kaif from his knitwear, which he was so, so famous for in the 80s. I mean, the guy's been designing and working as an artist for over six decades. Wow. Amazing. I mean, you know, wow. He's phenomenal. He is, he is indeed. Um, we've got a book, incidentally, as well, of Caves. I think it's his latest one, isn't it, that we've it got is. on the show? It is. Yeah, it's Caves. He brings in a, a Caves quilt in um, every year now. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's he's just incredible. And it's sort of a coffee a coffee table book, half of it. So the photographer is a lady called Debbie Patterson. And her and Caves and Brandon travel the world, uh, taking these quilts to various parts of the world. In this case, it's Burano, which is a tiny island. It's one of the Venice, it's just what, a little island just off Venice. It's in that lagoon. I've just um, noticed that cover. Oh, look at that. That's so an actual that, place. Yeah, so oh the houses are all painted different <gasps> colours. Really, really stunning. Wow. Now, whether it's because the mists descend and the fishermen need to know which is their house, I don't, I don't know. know. But it's kind of there's kind of a keeping up with the Joneses in terms of having the most outlandish colours. So the first it. half is the beautiful um, photography by Debbie Patterson and the quilts, and that didn't fall in the canal. I did check, <laughs> <laughs> and um, and they just go around finding places that that works with these quilts. Promenade stripe, how gorgeous! Put with a spot, beautiful. just beautiful. Ooh. And then the back half gives you all of the patterns for all the 19 quilts in there. Oh, that's amazing. That's brilliant. In fact, if you've got 19 quilt patterns in yeah. there and you're only paying $21.99, that is a phenomenal Just deal. over a pound a pattern. I that's mean. amazing. And, and all of that Designer inspiration patterns. and the beautiful colour and the templates and everything. Love it's it. an absolute steal. It would be rude not to. It is. £21.99. Do go for It's a really good weighty book as well, I have to say. When I picked it up, I thought, oh, well, it's going to be... A, and then I picked it up. My goodness, that's weighty. So, yes, if you fancy getting hold of yours, then do please take advantage of the details on your screen and as I say you might get some inspiration for using these fabulous fabrics we saw the promenade being used in one of those a few moments ago how are you getting on with your bottom over there Natasha? Oh, I'm busy boxing it <laughs> oh I see okay yes so when you um so the, the box bottom starts off like so as a little square and then you want to pull it apart like that. this is always a bit that's really hard to describe mm. um, in the patterns but you pull it apart and you line up your seams so that okay. one will go one way, one will go the other, like you do with your um, with your patchworking, so that the seam line will run seamlessly round. Uh -huh. And then you pop it. So then it's a straight line. So rather than it being that that I've right angle, triangle, it now becomes yeah. a straight line that you can just sew straight across. And you do that for all four of them. Wonderful. So there is an element of repetition here. And so I do apologise, but you know it's the only way it's going to get made.
not a problem at all. So the, the wadding that you've attached, you've just attached that to two of the pieces. Is that the outer piece that you've attached the wadding to? Do you know what? It, this will be reversible. Oh, okay. So it doesn't really matter. So it really doesn't matter. Um, I'm trying to do lots of reversible things at the moment mm. because I have small children and they're really grubby. And um, so I will start off clean. So it's a bit of an overshare this, isn't it? <laughs> but, but then small fingers, you know, and I always end up really grubby or my bag ends up really grubby or, you mm. know, something ends up really grubby. So if I can just turn it inside out and it's reversible, I stand a chance. There you go. Something so that's why the bag days. was reversible <laughs> as well. So idea. that I knew that if, you know, when grubby hands prevailed, <laughs> I could just whip it inside out and try and look like, you know, <laughs> I've managed to stay clean for half an hour. <laughs> oh, um, bless it's, you. it's anyone that has kids will understand. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> or animals. <laughs> uh, yeah, they are. They really are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Captain Small, my youngest, has just started at nursery in the first three days. Absolutely fine. Loved it. Um, until Friday afternoon mm -hmm. when they do a walk. Oh, yeah. This do they do forest garden as well? That's another She'll one. She'll start forest school yeah. next forest year. School, that's yeah, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Forest school, they used to but, go to the um, garden. At, uh, yeah. yeah, they said to me, she, she screamed. She screamed. She did not want to walk. She screamed. And they just kept saying, not cried. She screamed. I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds familiar. Yep, yep. That'd be it. Said, but she must walk. You have dogs. It's like, yep. <laughs> yep. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I can't remember where I was going with that at all, uh, apart from that she's grubby and I have to turn things well, inside Well, any playtime, they're going to end up grubby. <laughs> and then there's painting and there's drawing and all those other activities. But interestingly enough, both her and my son are really drawn to cave fabrics. Oh, OK. And I remember when Brandon sent me a bag of cave scraps. I mean, the delight. Oh, <laughs> right? bless. And actually, it got stolen very quickly from me. And my son was just sitting on the floor, play, you know, putting them into colours and oh. this and that. And, and actually, I was like, oh, great. No more expensive toys for you. You can That's just sit yeah. some fabric scraps. Perfect. <laughs> but you had a lovely time. Now, I am going to drop one I've, I've turned one the right way around okay yeah doesn't it, i mean doesn't it look, looks amazing doesn't i it? mean to be fair just whack a handle on it and you've got a nice bag um but i'm going to pop that inside da, 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 here so okay. that they are right sides together Lovely. and i will align the seams <laughs> i will get one of my uh well let's basically call it a hat pin because it turned okay. out that's pretty much what they ended up being. I forgot my pins, Haley. I always forget something, don't I? I was, oh, yeah. Yes. So uh, I'm I the did, same. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> these were the, the nearest things to pins that we could muster. Well, they do say you have to make sure that you remove your pins from your project. There's, there's no missing these. There's, there's no missing these. <laughs> You've noticed no, these left No. In. I mean, look at these little discreet things here. <laughs> uh, they're either hat pins or floristry pins or something, but they're quite pretty. They do the job. It's slightly blunt. It's all good. It's all good. Um, what are they called? Um, dream design and dazzle. Oh, yeah. so we're doing all Steady. of that. Steady. Are we <laughs> dazzling yet? I don't know. But uh, we're going to work on it. Uh, I take the arm of my machine off because then I can just slide it over there like so. And then um, pop that down. Oh, I can, there we go. I can take out one of these said hat pins. I start on a seam because then I know where I'm going. Okay. And then I just align with the edge of my foot around. Everything is lined up and whee! Round we go. We are stitching, we are doing all right. Um, and just off we go. There we go, so using the same seam allowance as you used previously. Yeah, 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 so again, always the same. Just keep, you know, whatever you decide on, just keep to the same and if you've used the same seam allowance everything will line up beautifully but this is a cotton so it is a little bit forgiving so if one is slightly bigger than the other just give it a little stretch um, now of course this is one of the um, latest patterns that we've got in your pick and mix details of which are on your screen choose any five for um oh, actually no it's the fat quarters that are on your screen to apologize so the fat quarters for? for the fat quarters oh yeah. natasha darling I, I, you know i hate to put you on the spot but you know come on home 
Oh, I love the stripes. I do like the stripes because I can see that the versatility of those, loads of you are going for the stripes. I love the dots as well, but that's me. I love my polka dots. I love these. These remind me of kind of slices of um, wood. You know, you can see like kind of yeah. log slices, things like yes. that. And I love the funky colours that you've got from these. Naturally, I do love the um, contrasting one that you've got with the dark there. But I do like the idea of a pow of colour as well. Something I didn't notice previously is the actual purple that you've got with the leaf um, in that one. We have actually got that bright orange and green version that works alongside yeah. that one as well. So those are the same print. And then it's, as soon as you start putting these together, I mean, <laughs> there, look at that there as well. I mean, that's a promenade there Ooh. alongside those they work although there's nothing there as it well I suppose the ready uh, orangey tone there but that's I suppose the connective between the two I do like my connectors somewhere along the, the line I must admit um, but equally so sometimes I do go kind of completely um, at random with the colors as well because they're just fabulous prints to go for um, but of course Natasha is working with um, a, a couple of those to create one of the latest um, patterns that she's brought to us this is what I was um, trying to, to lead towards because we've got a pick and mix with regards to the patterns that's popping up at the bottom of your screen there so this is the latest one as is the if this is scarf we've got that one as new options so if you have uh, shopped with natasha's patterns before then there might be a couple that you need to add into your collection and at 9.99 a very affordable collection it will be two, two pounds saving i don't that's know if good. that's actually yeah. written there but normally my patterns are 5.99 okay um patterns vary don't they in oh, price yes yeah and um you know i i do try and keep them affordable because I think what would I want to pay? Yes, yeah. and it's got to be fair all round, isn't it? And if you want to make and sell what you've made, do you know? Do obviously don't like if you go into manufacture or anything else. That <laughs> would be a bit of a no-no. But if you've made what you what you are going to sell, then you know do I get I do get asked that quite a lot. So I I just thought I would try and actually remember to say this time. Well, these, yeah, well, all your patterns have got incredibly practical or decorative elements to them as well, so they're always going to be popular ones. Do like the stripes that you've got with this promenade, though. It looks fabulous. Yeah, it's a bit lovely, isn't it? I'm just going to top stitch around, which is just going to hold everything in place. Wonderful. And Natasha, you were here this morning as well with your show, the different products we had earlier on. And yourself and Alex, you were looking very dapper after saying Christmas aprons. I, I know it was a busy hour. Um, the aprons, yeah. Right. Weren't they fun? They were really, I love the kind of the duo thing where you've got an adult and a child size yeah. together. I thought it was a really yeah, yeah. clever idea. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's the whole mini me thing, isn't it? Yes. It just, it, work, it works a treat. And actually someone on my Facebook post said, um, oh, you know, actually great for all the family. Mm -hmm. So this is it as it is, and then look at that. As quick as that, Natasha. Uh, I mean, it really is. If you want it stiffer, put you know, put more of a, a like a foam in there yeah, or something. Yeah, you know, you can, or put two layers in. Mm -hmm. um, however, however you want them Love to it. be, and then you know whether it, you're putting your cotton wool bods in there, whether whether you're going to put all your bits and bobs or whatever in there. I mean, I could put. Well, I mean, the, the nice thing is that if you're travelling as well, you can take those because there's three different sizes with this pattern. Incidentally, you could put them, nest them in together, roll them up, put them in a suitcase, and there, there you go. Look at that. There's a lot that you can fit in there. Love it. Thank there you, you Natasha. Um, and again, using your fat quarters as well. We've got a photo. Have a look at this. Now, oh, this nice. is from Michelle. Oh, you've used the dots and the leaves there as well. Oh, and look at, yeah, the ombre leaves. Beautiful. I love it. Absolutely amazing. That is a brilliant bag. That is certainly a showstopper and definitely a conversation uh, starter. Love the way that you've used so many different types of fabric. And, and if you are following rules, you might be looking at these thinking, well, they shouldn't go together. Blue, what's the phrase? Blue and green should never be seen. Well, excuse me. Except I'd like with to, something yeah. in between. It, <laughs> is that what they say? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I love this. That works beautifully. So there you go. If you fancy getting hold of that one. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. We'd love to see your photos of your make. So I th don't know if we've got time now during this hour, but do keep an eye open. I know myself, I was here this morning at 7 o'clock with the sewing show. Natasha, I know, always loves to see what you've been creating as well. Oh, I'm really so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but 
incredibly noisy. Um, and I'd like to know what you've been creating with these fabrics. So, of course, these beautiful fabrics we've got in front of us are available as a pick and mix. They're half metre pieces, which is a really good size for a project. So whether you are looking at quilting them, whether you're looking at making a project, so you're keeping that kind of entirety of that gorgeous print in there, well, you are spoilt for choice. You can see here we've got loads of different choices, and you're going to choose any two of these. So are you going to go for your light and airy look? See, this is the thing. I mean, we've got lots of colour featuring in this one, but perhaps the boldness of some of those colours is a little bit too much for people than this one. I think it's a lovely one. It is incredibly beautiful. And it's one that comes back with each collection in a different colourway. Oh, um, okay. It's just come out in an ochre, which Ooh. is beautiful, really beautiful. And I made a, a, a biker a scarf out of it. Nice. Uh, and look fab but it just so and yet you wouldn't think looking at that 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 would be a design yeah. that would work on a big beardy biker would you yeah and yet in a different colorway really masculine really gorgeous so Beautiful. this is the genius of k I love it. So there you go. That is one of those options. Good size pieces, as you can see. Next, I love this. One. I love the burgundy and the purples and the blues. I mean, blue is one of my favourites. And sometimes you can find yourself in a bit of a rut when it comes to colours. You automatically go for yeah. the blue. Well, this one, yeah, it's got the blue in there, but it's encouraging me to look at other, other colours. Like you say, the green, yeah. maybe that's taking you out of that little comfort zone a little more. Even if you just pick out the green and a bit of jewellery or something like that. You know, it doesn't have to be that you then wear lots of lots of Beautiful. it. Beautiful. Love it. There you go. So again, half metre piece with that one. Now, this one is where you're introducing even more colour. And when you look at these, I mean, you've got that, obviously the um, prominence of the purples that are featuring this. But when you look deeper, you've kind of got kind of cherry reds in here. You've got oh, gorgeous you've got jades and sorts. turquoises yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Brandon always says that it's about finding that colour that puts that hit in, that little bit of chilli yes. on top. That's what he calls it, that little bit of chilli on top. He says it's like putting <laughs> on that little bit of lipstick that just brings everything together. And, and that's what you've got. You've got that red in there. You've got that jade in there that just pops. And it's a very dimensional print. When you look on the screen there, the, the colouring that you've got within this makes it look as if they're three-dimensional flowers. It's very all painted effective. with gouache. So the oh, originals okay. are all painted with gouache. And they're limited to 16 colours per print. Oh, and, okay. um, and so they always have the colours down the bottom when they do the original artwork. The original artwork is beautiful, but looks oh, exactly yes. like the fabric they do. Well, you can see on the salvage all the colours that that has got on there. It has. Um, I d I d I, can I put in a request? Yeah. That when we see the original painting that we have, whoever the artist is wearing a shirt standing in front of it, because then you'll see that they kind of be like a floating head, wouldn't they? Because they just kind of blend amazing. into the background. <laughs> so I spent a day with Cave in July and um, and I did an interview because he just brought out his book and uh, and there's this beautiful moment where he's set everything up he's got the quilt and everything and then he looks at me and says so um what shirt should I wear should I, should I wear a blue one do you think that'll work <laughs> so, so, sorry 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 the man with all the color <laughs> is asking for advice <laughs> has just asked me <laughs> I'm just gonna you know you have those moments that you just store up and you go I think I think you you're all right to choose yeah, yourself. Yeah, you got there. you got that covered. <laughs> you got it covered. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now um, I made a scarf out of this as well. Well, it did make sense, wouldn't it? It was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And then I gave it away, and I'm kind of like, oh, I need to make another well, one. Well, Natasha, if you were needing to order any, you need to know that this one's now limited in stock. Um, so yeah, and again, it's a lovely one. Like this one because obviously we've got the promenade with the other colour tones. I'm thinking more of an autumnal feel to this one. The ones that we've got within um, the, the the fat quarters. You've got kind of spring tones, maybe winter tones with those, but saying that, I'm going to argue with myself now because you've got the bright blues <laughs> in here as well. That's what you find yourself doing though with these fabrics. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, that one has technically gone, so oh. if it is in your basket, you need to check your basket out. As I say, 10 minutes is your limit with regards to checking out your basket. So I'm going to move that one out of the way because, yeah, it's going to go, isn't it? You're not going to miss out on so that Hayley, one. So, can I ask you? Mm -hmm. um, and it is changing the subject just slightly okay. and looking at the fat quarters. Mm -hmm. So the Infinity Scarf yes. uses three fat quarters. Oh, okay, right, yeah. Which ones would you pick? Which Ooh, ones would you pick? Oh, well, right. should we go and have a walk? Yeah. Have a look. Let's have a little look. So I'm thinking loads of different ways with these. Now, of course, you try your half metres. Of course, you could be cutting those into fat quarters, making the Infinity Scarf that Natasha's speaking of. But I'm going to have a little look and I'm going to choose these. So I think, ooh. No. Mm. Mm. Now you said that they need to be quite contrasting with these. 
So yeah, so I would pick a common tone, but see, have something that's going to really, yeah, see, nice. I'm thinking potentially that because, of oh. course, you've got all your different colours with these two. And that's kind of maybe the adult in the conversation, maybe. Oh, oh. They're all grown up. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, we all like an adult conversation. <laughs> now, the spotty one. Oh, I'm going to have to choose again because the spotty one. That one's gone. Oh, no. Yeah, Tilly have gone. Tilly okay, Winks. so pick, pick again. Pick again. So, right, okay. So, shall we mix it up this time? Okay, in this case, I'm going to move away from those now. And I'm going to go back to... I'm going to stick with the promenade. I'm going to get... No, I'm not going to go with the promenade because that one's gone as well. Oh, There's no, it's white, easy, is it? a lot of white space going on here as well. So, I can have any of the others. Now, I'm going to be quite controversial because I must admit, when I saw this fabric to start with, I thought, I love it. But I've got no idea how I would actually use it. But you know but look, what? It's going to go so well with your hair, your new hair colour. <laughs> Bless you. But just, you know what? We've got white space here. Now, I'm going to move that into the white space. Can I just bring your attention to these now? Because have a look at that grey coming across now. So, now I am liking that one more so now because mm -hmm. it's going to work with that particular one. There. And I think I'd probably still stick with my purple across the two of those. I and that would, would work you? as well. Nice. But you wouldn't put those two together. But you've kind of got that conversation going on between a three-way conversation with your grey um, going in this direction and then obviously you've got your purple going in this direction. But I get to choose another two, don't I? Good So choice. I'm going to stick with my stripes, she says hesitantly, because I know how popular they have been. Still got that one at the moment. I'm going to bring that one in. And I'm going to go for the tiddlywinks just because I love the name of it. Bring Why that one not? in as well. So there you go. So that one sitting in the middle there, I think that would work in, in that, any of those ways. So I could bring it in with that as a little trio if I wanted to, but equally so it would work with those as a trio as well. Can you drape those feathers over your top? Mm. Because your, it's kind just going to look tones. beautiful with your top and your hair and all of that. It's just, it's just perfect. Something along those lines. Look at that. How okay. stylish does that look? Mind my microphone before I'll get shouted at by Alex. He's got very, look at that. very shanty that beautiful ones. But there you go. See, these are fabrics, kind of facet fabrics that we know for the boldness. But there you go, using it with a plainer tone. There again, yeah. it dilutes it down a little, doesn't it? Yeah, mm. and I'm, I'm just thinking because you've got my mum's got similar coloured hair. Yes, yeah. And actually, you know, that would that would make a stunning scarf for her. Beautiful, now, I like that. If pop it next to the geodes in black. Um, oh, this and one down here. come out and play in a see totally now, different see way. See now, and this is the beauty <laughs> of fabrics, when you start putting them together, you'll see different elements. Now, obviously, we were looking at the feathers very much before with that, but now I'm noticing the circles more Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Because it's kind of shouting at those circles and bringing those and drawing those circles in. So again, there you go. You've got your continuity again coming in with that. And again, I would echo that potentially with that one. Maybe, I don't know. But what I'm about with the, sure. tiddly, the tiddlywinks, the, the cool yeah, the tiddlywinks? The tiddlywinks, there. there you go. Look into those colours. Look into the colours. Look not around the colours. Look into the colours. Because if in the colours, you've got your greys in here as well. So again, you've got that conversation going in, drawing those in. And again, they're very similar, those tiddlywinks, aren't they, to the little mm. eyes that you've got on the feathers there? Oh, you're just spoiled. Well, you're not spoiled for choice as much as you were when we started the show. <laughs> you can yeah, see, the oh my goodness. choice is diminishing rapidly. Oh. But it is, I call this auditioning your fabric. Yes, yeah. I've totally um, mixed up the order now, so I do apologise to whoever I need to apologise to. <laughs> you know what we haven't looked at? What's that? Which is a shame because it's gorgeous, and that's that citrus one with the rose and hydrangeas. Well, it's kind of been tucked away a little bit, hasn't it? I know. It? Not, so. uh, that's your lotus leaf. So the lotus leaf is gone? Oh, that one's gone. That's oh. why we haven't looked at it. I just knew it. But what... <laughs> What, right, one. that that one. See, this, this is, is nice. a rose and hydrangea. One. Now it comes in various colourways, but okay. this one is so pretty. That's nice, isn't it? And this one again, you get a totally different. I'm stood here, stood here very close to it, and it is it does look beautiful. But when you hold it up and look at it from a distance, even more so. Yeah, yeah. It, actually, it takes on an autumnal tone. That when you look at it closely with those bright, almost, it's a, a, almost a, a chartreuse. That yes. greeny yellow in yes. the background, um, but actually from here it's it's looking kind of autumnal with the, with you know that what? turn I'm of colour. At this. Now you're saying autumnal. I'm looking at this. I'm thinking Oriental. Are you? Mm -hmm. Now it's funny you should say that because Philip Jacobs, the designer, is um, heavily into Oriental art. Oh, I see. So there is very often Perhaps that, that influence kind of spin. We had it's Japanese chrysanthemums last time. Yeah. So it's not. It doesn't surprise me that you say that. 
Mm. Good spot, Cer Hayley. Good spot. Kind of Good eyes. Matter. Well, yeah, but they're totally, they're, they're totally not those kind of oriental colours nope. that I tend to think of. No, no, no. Absolutely. Um, but Absolutely. But what would you put it with? Oh, ah! If only we had time to look at those. No, um, I don't know, to be honest. Again, the purple. I like the purple with that one. I like that with that one. See, I'm, hmm, I'm going back over to the, the half metres again now. Oh, are you bringing those in? So, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, decisions, decisions. Well, it doesn't matter which of those five you go for because you will find. And also you will have elements within your stash at home, won't you? So, uh, yeah, definitely um, have a little look at what you've got there. But anyway, fat quarters, they are flying out. If you're wanting to get hold of those, you're going to have to be quick with them. Do not miss out on those as well. Um, can we look at what, sorry? Oh, the dog poo bag sample. That's that one, isn't it? Sorry. <laughs> there you go. Oh, look at that. It's kind of got the little geos in there as well. Now, this fabric, I love this little fabric here. Now, what are we calling this little pouch when this you come to the This is the, uh, the pooch pooper poopy bag uh, holder. <laughs> Basically, it, you put your dog, you know your little roll of dog poo bags? Oh, I see. And they're you, poked Yeah, you put it in oh, and then it just right. dispenses them screechly out the back. That's and stylish. And you can pop it on your uh, on your lead or whatever it is. But I just got fed up with um, every every coat I had having poo bags in or not being able to find them or whatever. So now I just have one of those clipped onto every single lead we own, mm -hmm. and it's job done. See, I need one of those because what I'm finding at the moment when I'm entering a shop and I'm going in my pocket for my face mask, I'm pulling out poo bags. It's not a good look. Mm, and yeah, it's, it's never, never, it's a bit like, oh, sorry, put that back in the <laughs> pocket. So uh, yeah, um, do check out the patterns. You've got a vast array of different projects. And of course, they are perfect for using with the fabrics that we've been covering. You're going to choose any two of these. Incredibly affordable at less than a tenner, nine ninety nine. Of course, you have got a couple of brand new additions to those, including the fabulous bag that um, Natasha's been sharing with us and that wonderful infinity scarf that we've spoken of as well. So you so, know how I forgot my pins? Mm -hmm. I also forgot all of the hard copies of yeah, hence why they're photocopied. I'm really, really sorry, but they do come on really beautiful cards so that they will last and last and last. So, you know, they, they, they will look better than that. Lovely. You back next Thursday? Always. Fabulous. We look forward to seeing you next week. Um, so, yeah, anything in your basket, now is the time to check your baskets out. Some of those fabrics are incredibly vulnerable. Don't want you missing out on those. Um, I will see you tomorrow, bright and early, at 7 o'clock. Um, but in the meantime, stay tuned. More coming up. See you in a bit. So what we've we got next on the lovely Joey's back and we've got Yanis back in the building. Clammerball coming up straight after the break. Then it's the Pergamano show with Paul Church before we have another look at the one day special. Flexi Order has arrived at her chanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on Flexi Buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for a Flexi order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Achanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Hayley range. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Hi, we 
are the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection, and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy Bee shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a channel. Well, hello everybody, a warm welcome. I'm really looking forward to our whole hour, Cal uh, Callum Ball. And we've also got my good friend, the lovely Jo. Hello. Hello, my lovely Haven't worked you? with you, haven't worked with you for a few weeks. I know, I think, I've been here, but I think we've been sort of crossing Just over shifts. Missing each other. It's the same with Janice. Yeah. I, I uh, worked with her on Monday or Tuesday, and uh, yeah, we were the same. Well, so good to be working again. It's and very I nice. Do enjoy our shows, especially Callum yes. Moore. We've yeah. got some beautiful papers. Mm. This, to me, uh, and I know how much you love sort of mixed media mm. upcycling. Yes, definitely. Perfect papers, and I really do yeah. mean that. Quality, and it's something, it sounds very much, and I do get this. Selly telly when we say stuff like quality and but genuinely yeah. when you pick up the papers they are stunning and the designs yeah, as well are. they lend themselves to being used uh, we've got different papers to the ones that we showcased earlier mm. on at nine o'clock uh, yes. tell us a little bit about these Jake, they're stunning. right so Callum Ball, yes yeah, so of course they are mulberry rice papers so they're a cross between a rice paper and a mulberry paper mm -hmm. and so these I just wow. think they are so different the marquetry ones what we can do with these honestly and of course with a lot of rice papers you do get that more feminine feel to them often yeah. and i think these obviously lend themselves to lots of backgrounds masculine backgrounds a and a beautiful yeah. wood effect it's the Aren't color they? tones as well so can you imagine this on i know you did a tray earlier on mm. and uh, we will be showcasing some of the stuff you made but the style the designs are lovely aren't they now Think about what, what can we put onto our rice papers? What kind of mediums can we use? Right, so we can use lots of different things because you can also stamp onto them if you wish because they're uncoated um, if you want to. I personally wouldn't onto these, but some patterns that are more open patterns you could. Um, you can, of course, put your crackle yeah. um, uh, paste on, which we have got in the show. We've got two lots, actually, the varnish and the, and the paste. Mm -hmm. um, you could, if you wanted to knock it back, you could very lightly go over with um, some chalk paint. Okay. If you wanted to make it much more of a knocked back um, Ooh, approach to it. Nice. I think these, that, I think that on a, on a piece, isn't it beautiful? Wow. Liz has made this. I have a, um, it just that looks is, so old, doesn't that it? Is, it? 
got a leather effect. It has, doesn't it? How do you find working with a paper, and we describe it as a sort of a hybrid between rice paper and a mulberry mm. paper. Mm. So what's the difference for you working with, say, just a, a, a decoupage paper as opposed to like that mix? Right, so this is very strong. So when I when you put pull paper, yeah. All right. you see, with a rice, a, just a pure rice paper, you wouldn't be able to do no. this. With a mulberry paper, yes, you would. So, it, but it's crossed between, so that you can still manipulate it round. You can still mould it around things, yes. and um, so yeah, it's. Um, Calumbore do bring out some very, very interesting products, and their papers are yeah. they're just exceptional quality. They really are. Eleven ninety five yeah. <laughs> for all six of those. Come on, you cannot go wrong. Uh, Seven eight two eight one. Uh, sorry, eight zero one. Your item number there. If these have taken your eye. Have you already got a project in mind? How are you going to be using these? But they are beautiful, beautiful papers. Uh, okay, now we're going to move on. So we've got something that you were saying was quite classic. It had mm. a strong look to it. Yes. Now we've got uh, a bit of artistic flair with these. Definitely. So what you've got is it's, a, it's quite a combination, really. More, uh, you've got predominant, I know, isn't it beautiful? That I'm going to use stunning. this. It really is. I. Oh, wow. I would put that in a frame, to be quite frank, it and really then decorate could. the frame because I think that just shouts out for that. Beautiful. What about and this? And this one with the sunflowers I and mean, the backdrop that. being that really dark hunter green colour. Lovely. Really it's, nice. It's got um, a bit of a... Um, it's got one of the, the classic, you know, you see in a, a, yeah. museum, a museum of artwork there. Yes. Just that classic yeah. look. So that's just on a tray. Yeah. But how beautiful yeah, so, is that? Really, if it was just an MDFJ, stuck it together, a bit yeah. of paint, a bit of paint around the outside, oh. a bit of crackle inside, and then pop the paper down. It Done. does need a varnish over yeah. it. I haven't varnished it yet, so it does need a varnish. Um, but yeah, that's a beautiful. Of course, Ooh, you like could this. individually take the flowers out of that. Yeah. I love this oh, one. I really like yeah, that. Yeah, this is such a good one. Yeah. It really is. And especially for something like an art journal, decorating an uh -huh. art journal or something like that. And this one is very classy. Wow. It is very, very classy, These this papers one. These are beautiful. Mm. I, I mean, love they really the blue are. backdrop on this one. So we've got the flowers and books. In here. Now, are these options, are we getting all of no, these? No, you're Just getting all of what you can see there. So wait, ten. on this side as well? You're getting ten. Ten of these? Ten, yeah, t ten altogether. Okay. And, uh, yeah. We'll carry on going. Sorry, yeah. I'm, I apologise. So, 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 of course, there you've got two. You've got two yeah. A5 ones. Done. Uh, totally different. In, and uh, again, wow. really. And what I've always said about Cannibal, right from yeah. when I first met them um, in Frankfurt a couple of years ago, what I've always said is their colours in their papers are so vibrant. Yeah. They're really vibrant and very. Um, very striking the colours because sometimes rice papers can be a little muted. Now, uh, have we got I this? I think now what we I'm just showing you. I think we're going to get ten of. Let me just pop these down. Uh, I think we've showed you. I showed you the designs. We're getting ten in total. Sorry, but we're getting multiples of right. each. So no, that's all right. That was my mistake. So we got the flowers, books, and birds. That's one option which we've just seen. That's one option. Oh, two of each. And option two is our postcards and our birds. So that was my fault. If I confused you, I apologise. So uh, let's go through now. This is a separate option. So this is our postcards and birds that we're having a look at. Now we have um, in the past we may have brought uh, um, one or two of these in um, A3 size. Now um, Laura from That's Crafty asks, because of course they are being distributed through That's Crafty in this country. Yeah. So although Calumbor are um, obviously from Italy, from Milan, uh, they are in the country already, waiting to be dispatched. Wow, so, um, these have specifically been asked for in A4 sizes, okay. so that they're more manageable for some people. They are a good size. They are a good size. Um, sometimes people think A3 is a little bit daunting. Yeah, so, and that's understandable. Uh, I, I understand that completely. Yeah. But what you're getting here is such a lovely collection. I have to say, both of them have caught my eye. So whether it is the postcards and the birds, or your books and your flowers, two, chop uh, two different options, so I'll just separate those. So here's your books and flowers. Over here, you've got your postcards and birds. You're getting 10 of each. They are stunning. Uh, 150857, your item number. Uh, now. You can go onto our website, you can shop by brand as well, so please feel free to have a look on the website and see everything that we have. You can kind of look at it at your own leisure, crackle for you.
but not just only this is a crackle paste and it is mm. very unique it is absolutely unique I've not I haven't ever seen anything like it the same these are the three brand new colors okay. so we've got lots and lots of colors I'm saying lots and lots because I don't know exactly how many now because we've been adding on and mm. adding on for quite a while but these nice. are the three new colors so our bottle green yep. our light blue and our turtle dove which we're just seeing there. Mm. I have actually got the turtle dove, and I've got to thank our director, uh, Jimmy. He just before the show, he literally put some on some paper, and this is the telling bit as well. I mean, look at the crackle. Joe heated it with a heat tool. And how often do we show you uh, a crackle product and we say you have to let it dry naturally? These you can force heat with your uh, heat tool. And look at the crackle, but also the depth that you're able mm. to achieve there. So you imagine running this through your stencils or if you just wanted to add or introduce a little bit of texture uh, onto a project, onto a mixed media piece, onto a bottle. Let me just show you some examples of the crackle. So here we've got that green going through. Is that the bottle green? It is the bottle green, yes. I think there's another, uh, in fact the blue may be mixed up into that one as well. Oh, that's so nice. that's one of the images from this morning, but yeah. we left that out so that we could see the crackle. Okay. It, re it really is, oh, the, the middle images, and yeah. isn't this incredible? Wow. Rachel made this, uh, Rachel Harris, and um, she, you can see this is a perfect example of how deep and effective this crackle Ooh. is. That is Isn't incredible. It? <laughs> it's amazing. I have to say, when I came into the studio just to uh, prepare, uh, prep, prepare for the show, I was chatting to Kirsty, our floor manager, and she pulled me to one side and she said, Look, I'm really paying attention to this show. She talked to Jo because yeah. she's going to be investing in the crackles. She she I want to know how to use it. <laughs> uh, so we've got three new colours. You can find other colours uh, on our website as well. So do have a look. You've got uh, all six to choose from. Uh, and that's just a little sneak peek at our website. So we've got the purple, the azure, uh, the Tiffany, and then you've got the turtle dove, the antique pink, and the bottle green. Uh, what I will say, and something that... <laughs> Kirsty, uh, Joe was telling Kirsty, and Kirsty told me, look, you've got to remember to tell everyone at home. And you were saying, Joe, to get mm. the most out of your crackle paste, what we're about to show you here really is uh, yeah. a consideration. Yes, it is. I would strongly recommend yeah. that these are actually purchased. Okay. Um, so, you get the best effect. Yeah. You will get that effect that Rachel has got on that okay. wreath. Okay, so tell so, us a little bit about the right, acrylic so, wind and the so uh, first, protector finish. Okay, so first of all, you put you just put a very very thin layer of the primer binder down. Yeah. Okay, then you uh, just let it um, dry, it just dry naturally in the air very quickly anyway, mm -hmm. and then you put the paste down. So we will show you um, the paste is very different, as we've said. It's something that maybe some of you maybe haven't seen before. Then when, once you've heated it, you can leave it to air dry if you want, but to get the best effect, if you put a little bit of heat onto it, it does make it crackle really yeah. well. Then to put the protective finish over the top, it seals it. Uh, okay, so then you've got longevity that's in good. your project. Yeah. They that, last for ages. Well, I say that's a really good price. 150 <laughs> mil. You're yeah. getting your primer and you're getting your protective varnish. Yes. 823802. Now we've also got a water-based varnish. So will yes. we be using this as well? Yes, we will actually on the first project. This okay. is a new product from Calumbor, Uh and basically it's um, it's to create. Um, you can actually make a, a varnish in between your paints if you wish, oh. the more traditional how we expect a crackle yeah. to be. Okay. Um, and uh, but that again for that price, that's tremendous price for Why two not? pots that size. Yeah, and we're going to be playing with it. Twelve ninety nine is your price there. Six five zero three seven five. We've got lots more goodies on our website. Just to show you uh, here, we've got uh, more papers for you. So beautiful mulberry rice papers as well. We've got the ones we showed this morning. I will be showing that. We've got the media. Uh, we got the glossy effect 3D pastes in there as well. The crackle uh, decoupage glue, which is a must really if you're going to be using the papers in that form as well. We got the stencils. I mean, these are large, beautiful stencils. And of course, we've got our MDF projects for you as well. So uh, do have a look at your leisure. Now, you can do that two ways. You can go onto our website, hochanda.com, or you can use the Hochanda app, whichever is more convenient. Okay, so we're going to go to our demonstration. What are we going to be working with, Jack? Sorry, that Sorry? made everybody alive, didn't it? <laughs> Sorry. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm a little bit of upcycling from mm -hmm. something that it was free. Because if you uh, take this section out, which I, I've placed in, it's, and that's actually grey board. Mm -hmm. All right, um, this is actually um, a fruit carrier. 
Oh. I can't remember if it was oranges, cherries or strawberries, but you will recognise them from the supermarkets. Yeah. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to actually make it into a little shelving unit because they stand alone, you see. Yeah, that's a good idea. Which are, are quite nice. And yeah. if you've got more it's than like one, display. you can actually send, yeah. So we can put ATCs, we can yeah. put a little Oh, lots of, loads yeah. of different things, actually. Nice. They're really fun. Obviously, you could do it this way around if you wanted to make and make the shelf that obviously way. go um, landscape. Little bottles. We yeah, see. they'd be yeah. nice, wouldn't Pottery. they? And like, yeah, that's it. Yeah. But for something that you're actually going to throw out, mm -hmm. I like I like something like that because it's you're like enjoying little... the product inside, yeah. and then you're going to enjoy like it a again. Wooden punnet for your. Uh, yeah, that's... If you've got any left over from I don't know cherries. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Um, right. So what I've done is I'll just recap. Um, I, I painted it all black because I wanted it uh, a base colour and I wanted it black. Mm -hmm. Obviously, put the shelf in. Like I say, grey board. Just stick it in. No problem at all. And then what I have done, I've then repainted these sections it looks a little bit messy at the moment but white and there's a very good reason for that because when i'm i'm going to i've got oh, these yes. two pieces of ice paper which is actually one of the sheets from the flowers and birds they're lovely and you do actually get two of each one so mm, if you wanted yeah. to do two together you then you've got two sheets and of each cut one that in half as well. yeah what I've yeah. done is I've actually took the piece of rice paper uh -huh. and uh, as a whole and I just pressed it in and then just run my fingers around to give it a faux crease okay so then I took it out and then cut it <laughs> just says taking it out <laughs> there we go and then I've just um, cut yeah. it to the right size so I've got the two pieces yeah. now um, what we've also got uh, on the show and we always have this um, is the water-based decoupage glue. Mm. Now, I swear by this particular one. It really is excellent stuff. And um, it's, um, well, it's, it's been made to use with the papers as well, so you know it's going to be good stuff. But it's got a good consistency. You can see mm. there, it really has got an excellent consistency. So all I'm going to do is, I'm just going to paint a layer yeah. just into my section here. Let's just pop in that over the top there. And I'm going to do one at a time because it does tend to dry relatively quickly. Okay. And it is quite important that it is still wet. And you also paint mm -hmm. a layer onto your actual paper. All right, make sure that you get.